guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video uh you get to see me in my little robe because i'm freezing okay i don't know what is going on like i'm fully dressed and whatever but i have a really soft robe and it's like comfy and cozy but anyway um i got a lot of really positive feedback from using the scraps so i figured i would use the scraps again now i saw this video on um it was Miss Sue. I remember her first name. I don't remember the channel name, um, but I remember her name is Miss Sue. And I believe she's Australian, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, so um, she has got this series going on of how to use 12 by 12 papers. And I'm like, that's a genius idea. She's actually several, one of several people that are doing that exact series right now, right now. Um, but I was like, wait a minute, I can do this thing and kind of apply it to what I'm doing, which is using scraps. So hence the mile on my desk. So I've just kind of like took a lot of scraps from my folder over here because I just don't have the room right here. But I've, I think I've buried my, um, what did I do with you people? There it is. Okay. So I made a couple little embellishments and I wanted to make some more with you guys on camera. So basically it's a fabric flip, but it's with paper. So it's just a little sample of, um, papers and whatnots. And you can do whatever you want up here. The way that Miss Sue did it was she either stapled it or she, I mean, I stapled mine too, but I just covered my staple. Um, but she also glued each page down. I'm not doing that um, because for one, I don't have that much art glitter glue left. For two, it's expensive. And for three, I'm lazy. So <laughs> I'm not doing that. But she did, um, let's see. She did the staple, she did um, uh, brads, and um, she also did a tag, just like a little, um, the, what, are, what are those things called? The whale punch. I want a whale punch, punch, and I cannot find one. I've been looking for them and looking for them and looking for them, and I cannot find them anywhere. I've looked on eBay. So before someone says, oh, go look on eBay, I have. Go look on Amazon. I have. I cannot find them anywhere. Um, so, yeah. Now, the tag that I did find was this one here. And I got this a couple years ago. But I found this one on eBay. And it's uh, it's an old retired Stampin' Up! stamp or die as well. And I love that thing. That thing is awesome. So, anyway, I made a couple bases. These are time cards I ripped in half. These are time cards I cut in half. Um, here is some while you were out um, that have been coffee dyed. And here is some library cards coffee dyed. Now, I went ahead and I started putting the first page to each base. And so I will continue to do the rest of them with you guys. And it is super easy peasy. You put your base down, put your paper down. And I am not messing with this at all. It is like, if it's even, if it's even, if it's not, it's not. I mean, the whole point isn't to be super, the whole point isn't to be super, um, precise. It's to use up your scraps. Now, Obviously, with any scrap project, we're going to be still making scraps, but hopefully we can get those used up too. My Etsy is going crazy right now. My goodness gracious. Um, which is fine. Fine by me. All right. So this one here. Yeah, that's too small. Okay. So that's too small for that one. And that's why I have uh, various bases. So this one you have, I have off screen. You can't really see that. Let me see if I can zoom you guys out a little bit. Um, but that's why I have various spaces because some of my papers are different widths. So 
let's go to this one here. Um, okay, you can see it a little bit now. And all right, I'll just kind of put you right there. Put you right there, and we'll be good. All right, so this one here, I thought was, I thought was really cool. It's actually from a notepad. Um, so we're going to do that. So I have a couple of these. And like I said, doesn't have to be perfect. Mm. So the point is to try to get our scraps to be as small as possible. Apparently I had a lot more of those than I thought. And I'm just going to go through this list and then I'll show you guys the next phase. Actually, be good for the next one. And that one too. And perfect. All right, so that's it for the basis for now, which if you guys would have seen where I started, I have one left of this one. So maybe I might be able to find something of substance over here. Got ledger paper. I'm use a ledger paper. And this has been cut down, so this is actually scraps. You should see the ledger that this came out of. It's ginormous. Ginormous. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Actually, we'll probably use some of that. Scooch that over there. And. All right. So there's that. Good. So this will actually do a, a couple of different things. And if you don't have anything like these time cards or library cards or the while you were out, just use whatever you have. If you have index cards, use index cards. If you have cardstock, colored cardstock, use colored cardstock. Like the lady in the video that had done the, um, like it was the, um, the 12 by 12 paper busting thing or whatever. Um, she actually used colored cardstock because she used to be a scrapbooker. So she has a ton of scrapbook paper and such like that. So, um, yeah. So I have two left of the time cards. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this again. We'll use this. All right. Let's cut it now. There we go. All right, and boom. There we go. And I'm not going to go through this whole stack because I have a couple hundred of these. So I'm not worried about going through the stack on that. These just happen to be on my desk taking up space. So now let's go through and I'm going to actually skip these here. And we're going to put... I'm going to try to put them in like like size piles because it's going to be all about the size of the papers. Okay. Oh, nope. All right. So 
So we've got the library cards here. We've got the time cards here. And then we've got the while you were out papers here. So next thing is I want to add this one here and I'm going to go a little bit above the last one like that. Okay. And same thing with this one. I'm going to go a little bit above and I'm going to tear at the top this time. Okay. Let's do this one. Um, let's go backwards. We'll put that there and we'll put that there. That way it's kind of like alternating torn, not torn, torn, not torn type of deal. All right. So then there's this one here. I think this one's too small for this. So let's go over here and we'll put you here. Okay. There's that. All right. Next scrap is this one here. And let's go right around there. And you're upside down. Okay. Here's that one. But you kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of going with the flow wherever it takes me. Okay. All right. This one here might be a little too small. There we go. And poof. And that's why it's good to have the different sizes going on so you can play a little bit, you see? And then um, I've got more over here. And these I did a little bit different. I actually folded the tops down. And then after doing that so many times, I'm like, why am I folding these down? I'm just going to cover them up anyway. So I stopped folding them over and I just left them as is. And so here are some scrappy pieces here. No, I might be too short. And these are the ones that I used um, to do these. That's what's left there. And so we're just going to go through and add them to the floor. I'm just going to add what's left over here to each little one of these guys. And I've also got a pile of fabric here, fabric scraps, because we're just using all kinds of scraps today. It, we're not, we're not being prejudiced and only doing papers. We're doing everything. Okay. All right. Um, here is. I'm not sure what this is, but it's pretty and small, very small. Okay. All right. I uh, might be able to use this one. It's still really small. What about on here? Oh, that one's good. All right. Um, nope. All right. Oh, I may not be able to use this one because it's got a Velcro thing there. All right. Um, okay, so we're still, all right, still digging around and let's grab 
So I'm trying to grab stuff that's not solid colored because I do have a lot of solid colored uh, scraps, but I have a lot of just scraps in general. So let's try to grab some that are not solid colored. I used those in the last one. Those are fun. Just kind of digging in here and seeing what I can see. All right, there's some. There's some sums. Some, some, sums. Oh, and there's some paper. That would be nice, too, to add to, I don't know, something. All right, I think we got a decent pile there. Let's see if I can't put this back without everything falling on my face. All right. Oh, you can do it. He did it. Okay. So that is um, Julie Nutting from from French Flea Market is what that one's called. I think that'll be fun. Um, let's go this route. It's nice and wide. And there we go. Oh, we've covered up our, our thing thing. Let's go play here instead. So we don't cover up our, our piles. Keep them somewhat organized. All right. Um, And then this one here, I don't think it's going to go well with that. That one, yes. This one, no. Okay. I don't think... Are you supposed to have... Yeah, you're supposed to have three. Okay. Um... Why are you so big? You're not supposed to be that big. Okay, I went way too small. I broke it. All right, and you are, oh, you are pretty. That's what you are. Let's take off the top part here. Um, you too big? You are just slightly too big. There we go. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, that'd be good there, but not here, because I need it to be bigger. Longer. Um, let's go this route. And let's go this route. Okay. Ooh, pretty. And back to you. Hello, gorgeous. That's what that says. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, you're not supposed to be down here. All right. And you 
are supposed to be over there, and here are supposed to be over there. And is that it? Okay. All right. You can go there. Let's see, what is our time at? 20 minutes. All right. So we'll go ahead and finish the. Actually, you know what? We'll just finish up some of these. So you can actually see how they're done done instead of because that's a that's a ginormous pile. All right, so let's add a couple little extra things on top here. All right, there's one. Uh, put something different on that one. Ooh, I know. I'll put this on there. That is more than one piece. All right. There's another one. There's another one. That's too small. And there's that one. And that one. That one. Okay. And I'm just doing a whole lot of ripping. I'm not cutting I'm not cutting anything. I'm not measuring anything. It is just rip, rip, rip until I get through some of my scraps. And like I said, I'm using all kinds of scraps. I am not leaving it to just one type. All right, so we'll go ahead and do this stack here. And so there are several different ways you can do this. Uh, let's unbury my stapler. We'll grab a couple with the staple. Blur. Stapler. Okay. And I'm just kind of lining those up. And I'm actually going to do it this way because we're going to bury that staple anyway. And this side is nice and smooth. So I'll do that a couple times. And then I'll show you guys another way to do it. Okay. All right. Hold that. Next way is a little bit more complicating, but still feasible and nice. So you grab the whole thing. You punch a hole. You take a undoiggy. Uh, I'm going to do the silver because it's pretty and elegant and it matches the paper really nicely. Okay. All right. And then you squish. Boom. All done. All right, same thing with this one. And what's really great is you can realign things the way you want them. If they're crooked, oh well. If they're not crooked or straight, oh well. Um, let's do, we'll do two here. We'll do one here and ow, one there. And don't smush your finger, because that's what I just did. Um, and then, can y'all see that? Like, it didn't even break my skin, but it squished my finger. So don't do that. All right. Here's one. And there's another one. All right. 
then you can go back and do one. Actually, I'm, I really like the look of the two, so I think I'm going to do that one again. And not do my finger this time. See, I smushed it right there. And if you have different um, eyelets, then you can use different eyelets. I know um, Michael's used to have a whole bunch of different like designer eyelets where you um, they have like different designs and such like that you could use. Um, oh, there's something else I brought out you can also use. Uh, let's see. And we'll do one of those. And I need, I don't have it down. Ow. Oh, this works. This is not what I was going for, but it works. Oh, wait. So I just need to poke a hole through everything and I said this works but it may not because that little tip is actually bent. And these are eyelets. Oop. This one, these are black and stuck together. Really? All right. So, stick that in there. And I'm going to turn it to where it, when it opens up, it's actually sideways instead of like top to bottom. Okay, you are not cooperating very well. All right, I have a better idea. All right, so there's that. And you can cover that or you can not cover that, you know, whatever. So the last one here, you know, I don't think I like that. I'm going to go with this. It's more elegant and pretty. I like it better. And I'm going to go with my super tiny hole punchery thing here. Well, it's not super tiny, but I do have a super tiny one. It may not be big enough, though, honestly. There we go. Look at that. That is so much easier. And the hole gets covered up by the eyelet. There you go. And these move. So you can write on all of them. So I do like the eyelet. That's a nice, a nice little touch. And I have a ton, a ton of eyelets. And I like it better than this thing. So I'm just going to put that back. You can use so much stuff though. Um, okay, you're just going to sit over there. Um, for instance, I have got... Um, I've got some of these tags. You can use those as bases as well. Uh, and then just punch because this isn't going to get covered up when you layer the the pieces of paper on top. Um, whatever your you know papers are going to be, blah blah blah. You're still going to have that hole, so all you have to do is take your hole punch, whatever it might be, line it up with the hole in the back, punch it, and there you go. So basically, same concept, but yeah, that's just yet another way that I plan on using up. Uh, my boatload of scraps. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I very much enjoyed this. Um, you know what? Let's take an extra few minutes. I know it's going to be an extra long video today, but some of you really enjoy the long videos. So 
you're welcome and let's put that there and i'm going to show you guys the um because these guys here are finished these two uh you can do pretty much all anything you really want with these guys here because you can use fabric um let's see if i can't try to gosh that looks so bad all right and rip that and we're going to put you in oh you know what I have a pokey tool mere pokey tool in there pokey tool in there And then you can either tie a knot or you can be like me and attempt to tie a bow tie. But I do not tie bow ties very well. If you have been with me for longer than five minutes, then you know I do not tie a bow tie very well at all. All right. But I still try. Okay. So there's that. That one's done. And voila. Got yourself a little embellishment. Okay. And so we've got three that are done now. And let's see this one here. You can tie it like a... Like a tie. I didn't get that. Could you try? You scared the crap out of me, lady. Ugh. My lady and my watch started talking to me and scared me. So. Oh, or, or. <laughs> you could make it into like an ornament. Oh my gosh. All right. But right now I'm struggling to tie a knot. Dude, my finger hurts so bad. All right. All right, we're just tying that into a knot there. And... We're going to make the other tail the same size, save that, and voila. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm going to make my tails a little shorter. All right. That's pretty neat. I like that. That's pretty neat. Okay. So then there's these guys. We're going to cover up. And let's see. Mm, right around there. And we're going to cut this in half again. I'm going to put it right there. We're going to do two at a time because I just cut this little guy in half. So we might as well use it. All right. And we're just going to go right across that staple. Same thing here. Right across that staple. Okay. Hold that. Okay. And... All right. And I'm kind of bunching this up onto the paper. I don't know if y'all can see that. That way it's not like just one smooth line. It's kind of like just bunched up. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, man. oh, what? Oh, what do I have over here? I've got this thing that I found. 
Um, because I've been organizing like crazy in the past. This has got seed beads in it. I am so not separating that out. Oh, my word. Anyway, um, so I've been organizing like bonkers lately. It's kind of, it's really cool actually, but because uh, I'm like finding things that I didn't know I had. Um, All right, so I'm going to, oh, I'm going to grab my little pen. I've got a little picker upper pen thing that helps out with these things a lot. Um, it's right here. All right. So let's grab my glue here. All right. So do I want the, I kind of like it like that. All right. Hold that. Oh, this one, we forgot to tie on that one. All right. So don't lose that. Now, Picked it up on the wrong side. Okay. Stay. She's on here like, can I say hi to them? Can I say hi to them? <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, so there's that one. It's going to need to dry. But there's that one. And then this one here, same thing. I think I have a clog in this cap. I was going to say, why do I have my Fabri-Tac fan out? Because I used my Fabri-Tac earlier. And I am really, really good at not remembering to put my pens back in my glue. Um, so don't do this. Don't use your pen to declog your thing. Because uh, it will bend your pens. It's not what they're for. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to like hot glue it or something. Because it won't come out. Come out, come out wherever you are, glue.
Okay. <laughs> I think I managed to get some glue on the thing. Mm. I think I want the other side. Oh, and my art bead um, order came in today, so you guys will see that. I don't know, either tomorrow or the next day, I'm not sure just yet. Um, I do have some sponsored products coming in as well, so those will be here eventually. Um, one of them, I will most likely do like a bonus video or something for that day. Um and anyway so that is that one super cute right so yeah uh anyway that is how i am using a very large chunk of these scraps uh forgot that one uh, that's not gonna work I have... same binding at my disposal. Right, y'all. And y'all get to watch me not tie a bow again. Put that back. All right. I might have just cut that too short. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. Well, you can also get super creative and try to put like a button or something in between there. That might work. Oi. Could also just tie it in a knot. You do that. No. You want to work, Bo. You want to work. And I even just cut my nails too, so they're not like super duper long. That's kind of crazy how long my nails are. I know a lot of people are just like, oh, but you wear acrylic. They're not yours. They actually are. Uh, I put the acrylic, or I have the people put the acrylic on top of my nails. Um, so they are actually my nails. But my nails are very weak and brittle. Um, so, yeah. <gasps> it's not terrible. What is this? It's not terrible. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, yeah, you can see my nails under there. Um, now, they did have to put tips on them um, there for a while because my nails were nothing. Like, nothing. Um, you could also just simply put a button on top and call it a day for that. It doesn't have to be anything super extravagant. Uh, I'll call him back. That was my husband. But anyway, yeah, I think I'll figure something out. But I'm going to call him back. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you, this inspired you to do something. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. So, bye guys.